What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Marvel Legends X-Men series Havoc. Now here we have Havoc in the packaging. Not a figure I was really crazy for. Uh, really essentially just getting him for Juggernaut. He does come with two energy effects as you can see right there. We do have an image of Havoc on the side. On the back it says with Control and precision, precision, Havoc possesses cosmic energy to send plasma waves blasting from his supercharged body. We do have Havoc right here. Other figures of this line include Wolverine, Kitty Pride, Iceman, Havoc, Rogue, Phoenix, Cable, and Deadpool. Collecting the first seven figures does give you the Juggernaut Builder figure. Deadpool is, of course, optional. You don't necessarily have to get him. But if you're a completist, you're going to pick them up. So that's Havoc for you. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, get them open up, and then we'll get go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Havoc posed and out of the packaging. Before we get on to Havoc, let's actually show off what he comes with. He does come with the right leg of Juggernaut. Uh, it does look a little stumpy, but when you actually put it next to him, it's a quite a big... Legs like that's a huge hunk of meat. Uh, it's actually the amount of plastic in this leg is probably what they used in Havoc's lower body. So really, the more I review, the more I'm getting so excited for Juggernaut. Moving that off to the side, let's actually show off the accessories that Havoc comes with. He does come with two of these. Uh, are they? mirrored images no they are the exact same piece they are supposed to be his energy effects but they kind of look like bubbles I don't know they they look like bubbles they don't look threatening they don't look menacing they just look like he's shooting bubbles at people and to get them on his hand you just wanna can can his hands come off no, his hands cannot come off, so getting his hands in there is relatively easy, but they don't, it's not the most secure fit, as you can see, it's just rotating around freely. It doesn't even sit on his, maybe it's supposed to sit directly on the glove. Maybe, but that actually stretches out, but he does come with two of them, and you can put them each on his arms and get in there so he does come with two and let's actually zoom out so you can see what that looks like not the greatest of looks they could have done something different for Havoc um, let's get these off and move them to the side so you can go more onto the figure now I really wasn't looking forward to Havoc I'll be the first one to tell you like his inclusion didn't make or break the way for me, so... He, he's a really uh, generic figure. He's just wearing this black costume with some silver uh, accents. And then we have his symbol right here in the front. Not sure that's supposed to be a symbol or his actual blasting effect, but it looks like a symbol. And there's really not much detailing on him because he doesn't even have a wash anywhere on his body except right up here where it does, like, you can see the white fade in there. So it might actually be an energy effect that they're trying to replicate right there. But moving on to his face sculpt. Pretty good face sculpt. They did a good job painting mine. I have seen some with the eyes and not correctly painted or the eye shadow or the eye paint is really off but it's actually quite spot on on mine so good job to Hasbro for doing that as you can see he is wearing silver gloves the boots have this silver accents on them so pretty generic symbol but I guess effective he does look good for what he is in terms of Havoc's articulate, oh, he does use the Bucky Captain mold, so if you're wondering which mold he uses, he is using the Bucky Cap. In terms of articulation, he does have a hinge in the head, which allows him to move up and down. His head is on a baldron, although 
You don't get much movement out of it. That is actually moving on the hinge, not the ball joint. No side to side movement on the head, but we do get left and right, up and down. Arms on a ball joint go out. Do a full 360. He spins at the bicep. Double jointed in the arm. A little stiff right there. He spins and bends at the wrist. He has an ab crunch which goes back, forward, waist swivel, which actually locks. You can hear that it's an audible click right there. Legs go forward, back, and out. Pretty good range on him. I don't have another uh, figure with this mold out, so I really can't compare. But thigh swivel. He does have double jointed knees. Spins at the boot. And he has a hinge and rocker ankle, so you can get him in all the poses you need him to get him in. And he does have a peg hold if in, in case you have a flight stand. You can have him flying, I guess. But that's Havoc for you, so what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, then we'll wrap up this re review, so sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Havoc posed for my final thoughts. Overall, just a generic figure. He's nothing spectacular. He's not great. He's just okay. Uh, these effects are practically worthless. Uh, they do make cool display pieces, but as for actual effects, they could have thought of something better. Maybe like a blast or something. I don't know, just something that isn't this. This doesn't work. As I said when I started this review, Havoc really wasn't one I was looking forward to, but he is essential to you know, completing Juggernaut. If you can find Havoc and you need to complete Juggernaut, I say pick him up, but if you're not really into completing the line, if you don't want to finish Juggernaut, uh, Havoc is a skip, or if you don't want to get the figure, try looking for the leg loose online. Because Havoc, in my opinion, is just okay. He's not great, he's not anything spectacular, but pretty decent. With that being said, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Comment on it. Tell me what you think of Havoc. Am I being a little overcritical with the figure, or do you guys feel the same way? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone. My